This question says, without using a calculator, determine the value of this. Now look at these angles, 60, 45, 45. Those are special angles. And then this part here, you'll see what will happen. That'll be a really easy part. Okay, so we need to go get our special triangles. So we know that we have two of them. They're both 90 degrees. Now here, I'm just gonna put a 30 degree. Here will be a 60 degree. Okay, now opposite the 30, is always going to be a 1, and then the hypotenuse is always going to be a 2, and then this one's always a square root 3. Then for this triangle, it's a 45, 45, and so this is a 1, this is a 1, and then this is a square root 2. So make sure you understand those, okay? You just got to memorize them. All right, so if you look at sin 60 of yes, I rather want you to write it like this. So you're going to say sin 60, that's how it will look on your, um, well actually no, we don't have to because you're not going to use a calculator. So you're just going to say sin 60 and then you square it. That is what sin 60 squared means. You just do it like that. This will just be sin 45, um, sec 45. Now we don't have a uh, sec on these triangles, but I mean we usually just use sin cos and tan, but you must remember that sec is 1 over cos. Okay, so sec is one over cos. So I'm gonna change this to um, one over, well, no, we can actually just leave it as sec 45, that's fine. And then uh, a quarter, tan of 10, and then just remember cot is one over tan. Okay, so we will change that one just now. Right, so let's, let's go work everything out. So if you work out sin 60, so let's go to sin 60 now. So sin, if we use a uh, socket toa, which I'll write over here. So sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we go to sin 60, then we're gonna go opposite over hypotenuse. That's square root three over two, like that. Then you're gonna say minus. Now sin 45, so you go to the 45 degree triangle, any 45 that you like, it does not matter. And if you look for sin, it's gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we're just gonna say one over square root two. Now sec 45 is one over cos 45. So if you work out, um, so we could just say here one over uh, cos 45. Or we don't even have to do that, we can actually just see, um, Let's see what cos 45 is. Cos 45 is, we know that cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we could say um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So then sec 45 would be the opposite. So it would be square root two over one. So square root two over one, like that. Okay. Now there's no way to handle the tens, but I'll show you something pretty cool. So tan 10, just leave it as it is. Now we know that cot, is one over tan, so we can just write, write this as one over tan 10. Now, over here, we have a square root two at the bottom and a square root two at the top, so they can cancel. And then here's the really cool part. We have a tan 10 at the top and a tan 10 at the bottom, so they just cancel out. And so if you type that on your calculator, that's just gonna give you three over four, okay? And then here, we're just gonna be left with a negative one, and then here, we're just left with plus a quarter. Okay. So if you had to work that out, that would be six over four, because remember this is the same as two over one. And then you're gonna say minus one plus a quarter. Now go get a common denominator. That common denominator would be four. So you're just gonna multiply this top uh, bottom part before, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Let me write this a little bit better. So it's minus one over one. Okay, and so we're gonna multiply bottom by four and the top by four, because what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so this is gonna give us six over four, minus four over four, plus one over four. So that's gonna give us uh, six minus four is two, two plus one is three. 